I've used both Fastmail and ProtonMail pretty extensively, and while they both have strong points, they cater to different needs. Fastmail's been around since 1999, and it shows in its mature, stable feature set. It's not free, but it's solid. ProtonMail, which launched in 2014, is more focused on security and privacy, and even has a free tier, which is a huge plus. Both services support essentials like folders, labels, custom domains, calendars, and mobile apps. But Proton takes security seriously. Self-destructing messages, end-to-end -end encryption, phishing protection, fish guard, and access to Proton VPN and Drive are all included in the ecosystem. It's built for privacy from the ground up. Fastmail, on the other hand, leans into productivity. The search function is next level. You can filter by sender, keywords, date ranges, and more. It's far better than Proton's, which requires downloading messages to your browser cache. Fastmail also allows 600 plus aliases even on its basic plan, while Proton limits aliases to under 10 unless you upgrade. Proton now has a built-in AI assistant, Scribe, which is handy for drafting emails, though limited since it only uses Proton's internal data. Fastmail doesn't have its own AI tools, just third-party integrations if you want them. Interface-wise, Proton feels modern and customizable, with layout options and themes. Fastmail's UI is simpler, more traditional, but practical, though it lacks some quality-of-life features like native PDF viewing or image zoom. I've experienced slight delays in both services at times. Proton wins on price. It has a free plan with 1GB of storage and paid tiers starting at $5 per month, scaling up to $30 per month for 500GB, 3 custom domains, 15 aliases, and 10 VPN connections. Fastmail has no free plan, but pricing is reasonable. $4 to $10 a month depending on storage and usage. You also get detailed limits on daily messages, storage, and uploads. Setup is easier on Fastmail. Minimal info required, and importing from Gmail was a breeze. Proton setup takes more steps, especially if you're going premium. It asks for extra info like a recovery email and phone number. Migration is possible on Proton, but the tools and guides feel more technical. As for daily use, Proton's folders and filters are decent, but not built for high volume email. Fastmail gives you better workflow control, snooze features on higher plans, color-coded folders, customizable views, and strong third-party integrations through IMAP slash STEMT. Proton's ecosystem works well internally, but doesn't play nicely with external apps. Bottom line, Proton Mail is a strong pick for security-minded users and light email needs, especially with its free plan and privacy focus. Fastmail is better if you want powerful organization, advanced search, and a smooth, reliable email experience. Neither is perfect, and both lack deep automation and AI. But depending on your priorities, one will suit you better than the other.